elephants on a farm. To draw an accurate portrait of autism in America, the CDC spent years examining medical and educational records. The picture that emerged is startling. We identified more children because we had more evaluations, we had better descriptions, and we had more information that help us, helped us show that the symptoms of autism were present. The CDC studied the records of over 300,000 eight-year-olds in parts of 11 states from 2006, looking for a diagnosis or symptoms of autism spectrum disorder, or ASD. ASD refers to a group of symptoms including a profound inability to communicate, mental retardation, and other developmental disorders from mild to severe. Diagnosis can be complicated and subjective. It's not like we're going out and measuring a blood test. It isn't concrete like that. This is looking at behavior. Boys are still four to five times more likely than girls to be diagnosed, and estimates are that one in 70 boys are affected. In analyzing the numbers, researchers are wrestling with an important issue. Are there really more autistic children, or does the growing awareness of the symptoms lead to more diagnosis? Based on everything we have right now, I would say it's more likely than not that there is an increase in the number of cases. It's not absolute. We learn more, we ask more, we find more. Jennifer Chancellor has been a special education teacher for 14 years. She's seen a big change in perceptions of children's behavior. I think that there's an awareness of what developmental milestones should be hit for children. And I think that when their children, or there's concern that their children may not be meeting those milestones, then parents are asking physicians, and physicians are directing them to their educators. But the report says most interventions are still happening too late. Parents often report noticing symptoms at less than two years of age, but the diagnosis of autism is still not happening until many children are about four and a half, which is too late for the very best treatments, Katie. And Jennifer, I know 30 years ago, one in every 2,000 children was diagnosed as having autism. Now it's one in every 110. Given these startling statistics, why don't we understand better what causes autism? Well, the thinking, Katie, is that there's not a single cause, but really multiple factors at play. And those can range from an older age of the father at the time of conception to environmental triggers to other genetic causes. Bottom line is we still have a lot to learn about this. All right. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks so much, Jennifer.